you'll have to nice. go back and do that. But I do have yeah. another one. I have another unboxing to do. I'm going to head okay. out of here in a minute. Rick but... does not know what it is. You do not know what it is. It is a new thing. Are we going to take bets on it? Or are we going to put, put your guesses out there? If you put guesses out there, do it when my headphones are off. Hot Toys Willy Wonka. Damn, how did you know that? <laughs> I, just didn't, I don't want my face to give it away if someone actually guessed it. So I'm going to go grab the box. I'm going to go grab the box. All right. So my... I mean, it's got to be in the we're probably best odds are in the Star Wars realm, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna say C3PO. Is there a C3PO out right yeah. now that he could get? I've got the box. Yeah, I'm trying to peek. Don't peek, dude. It'll give it away as soon as it comes out of the box. You see, you'll see exactly what it is. So I, I gotta like, I gotta do this low key. I said C3PO. Is C3PO not out yet? Nope. It's supposed to be out sometime soon. Actually, I think it may. It, it's either March to May or May to June. I can't remember which. I, I think May is one of the months that. Lit. You ready for this? Yeah. There it is. Duh. I got one. That's pretty. Finally. And Where I didn't you? have to pay more, too much more than retail. Cheaper than uh, you... Toys Wonderland, cheaper than eBay. I got it, motherfucker. How'd you find that? Gentleman on Facebook. I've gotten the... I do, uh, dude, uh, this, this gentleman, Dion Davis, I think he's from my homeland, my motherland, Scotland. Um, I got something else from him. But I didn't get this from him. But I got something else coming from him. He was just in the chat earlier. Yeah. That's why I'm name-dropping him, because he was here. I'm not name-dropping this guy, because I, I, I don't know if he wants name-dropped. So it was a, just a Facebook sale. Oh, was this off a of marketplace? No, just like someone posted for sale in the Hot Toys. Like, uh, um, I literally have a Facebook, just so like anything I post on Instagram when I randomly do goes to Facebook. We'll go to Facebook but then I have yeah. the Facebook just for like statue and toy groups. You don't. Post that's all I Facebook. do. That that's literally it. And the only time I've even gotten on Facebook in the last. Two years, three years, maybe, maybe even four years, I'd say, was just to check the groups to see if there was something for sale. But easily, I've been popping on, like, frequently looking for anybody selling this guy. Because, God damn it, I've been wanting this thing. That's sick. Is this the chrome body, dude? Yeah, this is my favorite Superman figure that I've seen, at least anyway. And it looks amazing in person. Like, I'm telling you, I know everybody says it about every fucking hot toy they get. It doesn't do any justice looking at it. On it's, but it, it's true. It's more true for this, in my opinion. Because in the end, I always thought, like, before I started getting, like, a lot of hot toys, that Superman would have been kind of a boring figure. Like, it's just like a dude in a suit. You know what I mean? Like, it's yeah. not like, it's not like a bat suit where it's, like, all, like, detailed and like it's just it's just like doing a blue suit but i will also show you guys a trick for anybody out there who wants a, to pose their superman without damaging their suit after i check this guy i would probably head out but that's sick he is chrome there he is look at those delts god no he he, he makes me look small mr He's six inches. that's what she said 12 inches he, he has six scale like Look at that chrome room. boy. That's why I was t contemplating, you know, like the, the ring lights I have up there. I was contemplating putting him on the top shelf just because he fucking like shimmers. Oh, yeah. Glistening. But I, I was able to get this guy from the dude on Facebook uh, for cheaper than like retail because you, you, you'll have to squint to even see this. But I, like this, I think too. this is a common thing with the Superman figures. But if you can see. Like, I don't even know if the camera will pick it up. up a little bit. There's like some cracking along the uh, shield. And it's, it is minor. Oh. Like, you can't even see it. Like, I can't even get it to no, focus. I can't pick it up. Yeah, I can't pick it up. I'm like, it's almost, it's damn near naked to the human eye. Like, in all honesty. Like, yeah. but it's just around the rim. There's like minor cracking around the, and it's not everywhere on it. It's just. It's just in like a couple places around like here, here, and then like some on top. And that's pretty, it's just like a little bit of crack, but you can't see it. You literally can't see it. 
you have to be looking for it and you have to know it's there. Right. But this is the trick for anybody who wants to pose at least this Superman. I don't know if Man of Steel Superman John has this on his body or not. But you have to unzip him in the back. And to do that, there's like one piece of thread that is right below the zipper that's like locking the zipper in place. So you do have to cut that. Dude, he is truly chrome. But what you do is you take your flight pole and you put a paper clip on it. Then you just get the paper clip and shove it up under. He's got a, like a back plate here that's part of his muscles around the shoulders and shit. It like wraps around and gives him the muscle definition. But you can fit the, the paper clip right underneath it. And then this will hold him up like perfectly by himself. And you don't have anything in sight around his body holding him. So right. you put him on the flight pole and he just sits there like, oh, you, you could get him in the flight pose. The light do that, is uncanny. And then you don't have to, you don't get the creases on the side. Because if you look at a lot of used ones, people use the flight pole for extended periods of time. It puts huge dents in these, uh, the, the fabric here. Boy. Yeah, I had never, I had trick. never considered that the fact that the poles and the stands could be damaging the figure in any way, or that the the material would get bunched up and and have issues. So my man of steel's been in, in the same position for like two and a half years, and just today I got him out and like tried to maneuver the the way he was held in the, his suit just to try and it doesn't look like it did any permanent damage, but. Um, I am going to start altering my my poses sometimes. Yeah, he looks, well, he looks it, huge. I think it's because his feet are pointed down a little bit, but he looks so damn tall. Yeah, I had him in a flight pose, so like sure, when you sure. do that, you got his feet dangling. You got him, you know, makes him look majestic as fuck, you know. And plus, it gets rid of the wrinkles in the legs and the boots when you fucking yeah. put him facing straight down. So it's like a win win. And I I had a one fisted hand on the left arm, and I had him like with one fist up, but I switched that out to just uh, like a relaxed one right before I put him in the box. I was going to try just like him fl floating, relaxed, maybe put a slight turn in his torso, just kind of like something like, you know, I don't know yet, like looking off to the side. Like I haven't decided. It looks too fucking good, though. I love this thing. I'm so glad I have it. Now I just need to fucking get a Batman. But right. like I was Did just you... telling Rick, those things are $800. Did you um? Oh no, watch the suit? It's heavy. Did I see what? Did you see what? Uh, did you see what the other head sculpt, the Heat Vision head sculpt, looks like? Yeah, I got it here. You checked it out. Does it look good? Oh, he's in a case and everything. When I like, I put these in the box and like, I took them out of the case, boxed them up before Rick got here because I was gonna like, I like surprising y'all. I like keeping some of my purchases secret so I can keep you guessing on stream. I literally left this just sitting on the couch because I didn't want to take it out. I got him like on the little thing that holds his head up and it, it's kind of hard to get the thing in there. So I really didn't want to take it out mm -hmm. to get it in the box. But if I want to turn it on, I would have to do that as well. Good figure, dude. His quad. It does look good when you light it up, though. And honestly, it is something you would have to, like with all the lights on right now. You wouldn't really be able to see it, or else I'd take it off for you to see it. But it does look good when you turn it on. Like they did a really good job with the translucent skin, because it looks completely normal if you have him there with the lights off. Mm -hmm. I did buy another Henry Campbell head sculpt, though that'll be here at some point. Which one did you get? Uh, just the the more accurate Justice League one, where his hair is going the correct way and the likeness is, it's better. It's a it is a better likeness, Henry Cavill. Because in BVS, his hair went this way, like, but in Justice League, it went the other way. Like it, it's parted to the to the right, but not to the left. In BVS, was it a, was parted to the, the left. There was a head sculpt I saw just the other day that was awful. Like, yeah. it was supposed to be Henry Cavill, and it looked terrible. There was a couple bad it ones. It looked like anything like it. I was like, what in the world? Here's your boy back. I am going to probably head out here, as I typically do at this time on Fridays. 
tired, long work week. I feel that. That's a cool fig, though. I yeah, like cool. it. Good fig. I'm a big fan of this fig. Not a bad fig. No, not at all. I don't yeah. want to put them back in the box because of the case. They're the cape, rather. But, John, I will see Thanks. you tomorrow night, sir. Sounds good, man. Take it All easy. All right. Like and subscribe. <laughs> like and subscribe. Hot Toys Leaks. The only thing I don't really like, though, too, I'm not the biggest fan, and it makes them really tall, too, in the detop, is the, the Justice League base. Like it make, it, it, I have oh, to it like raises them up even more. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to literally like bend the flight pole back and then bend it forward just to be able to get them inside of it. That's yeah. what she said. You can get it to work. It's just it takes a little more effort than you'd want it to. You got to do something like this. You got to give it like an S. Yeah. As much as I don't want, want them to make one because I just bought this one. Granted, I didn't. I lucked out with him just like I did with Anakin. Like, I didn't have to pay, like, more than retail. Not too much more than retail, thankfully. Like, I got him less for than I got Obi-Wan. But, god damn, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, I want a new cape. So I'd like, I kind of, I'd like them to release another one with a better cape. But I don't mind the cape. It's an yeah. okay cape. Like, it gets the job done. It at least has the pleats on the shoulder where they're supposed to be. Like, it definitely is fine. But I, I wish they would make an, another Superman, though, just because that's really when the only time the like third party people who make the capes, they only do it when like the figures are like new. They don't like keep making them because there's not a demand for them. Yeah. So it, I just have to like randomly come across one and hopefully like someone's selling one that they had because they sold their figure or something. I don't know. Just one of those things you got to kind of look out for and it's kind of hard to look out for because it's such like an obscure thing. Like I need a custom cape for the Justice League Superman specifically. <laughs>